Hi everyone, I'm Andrzej Hiszka and this is Windup 2.5. Windup is a tool that helps you with migration of a project from one platform to another. It is rule-based, extendable, pluggable and modular. I will show you all that later, but now let's have a look at Windup in action. Here is the application you are going to migrate. Normally, you would go to the sources, click around randomly to get the idea of how the application looks like. But what if the application is huge? You have no chance to go through not even 1% of an application that's around 1000 megabytes. And what if you don't have the access to the sources at all? With WindUp you don't need the sources and WindUp analyzes the whole application and gives you the overall summary like this one. Let's see how to do it. First of all, go to windup.jboss.org and download windup. It's going to take a while. When it's done, unzip windup and go to the unzip directory. It contains a script bin slash windup. From now on, we are going to work in a console. Let's uh, run windup. This shows you what options WindUp accepts. It needs at least the input application. We are going to use our prepared application. WindUp also needs to know uh, which target platform you are going to run, which target platform you are migrating to. But it can ask you interactively during migration. I will also add the offline switch for the purpose of this demo. Also to make it quicker, to make windup process the packages quicker, uh, we are going to limit the packages scanned to just those of our application. Let's assume we know that. <coughs> this is quite a small application, so it's done pretty quickly. We are going to choose the target, which in our case is EAP. The possible targets are given by the rules, which are available to wind up at the time of running. Our report is ready, let's look at it. The first page lists the applications we have analyzed. We only had one, so it only contains that one. Clicking on the application reveals, reveals its application report. On the main page, you can see the overall statistics, which give you the idea of how much effort it, um, the migration is going to take. 
the, the migration issues report lists the issues by type. You can check in which files the particular issue was found. In the application details report, you can see the details of individual application modules. If you are interested about particular migration points of interest, you can go to the level of individual files. Windup also creates special reports for some technologies, like the EJB report with an overview of EJB beans or JPA report with entities. Some of the files, like XML descriptors, are migrated by Windup automatically. And this is Windup in two minutes. In the beginning of the video, I promised you to show how all this works. Windup is rule-based, which means that the issues you could see in the report are found by rules. Most of the rules are written in simple XML files like this one. Here we can see a rule which matches WebLogic XML. The next rule matches Java class annotation weblogic.servlet.annotation.vl servlet. Custom rules can be created and used without any compilation. Simply put them in a directory and tell Windup to use them. Windup is currently focused on migrating enterprise Java applications, so most of our queries and actions cover Java source analysis or XML configurations. However, it's relatively easy to write your own extension for any language or platform. If you have a suggestion which area Windup should cover, we are always happy to respond. Check uh, windup.jables.org for ways to contact us. If you are interested in Windup development, check the project page at github.com slash windup. Thank you for watching and now go try Windup.